This is the 2016 Johnny Appleseed Festival. We don't have the live vid the setup video because the live broadcast failed. So I found I can't do that anymore for anything. So the old point shoot record and put everything in the video editor uh, phase is back. And we did that with the live one and now we're here for the demolition one. The dunk tank is emptied and now heading off to be stored away. Most of the bounce houses are deflated and the big serpent one is completely done. The one called the baller, which I found the name when I was doing the live video that failed. That's all relatively flattened. And now it's time to go through the thing and see what is left. I have to say they actually killed the music early this time. Usually they wait and it would usually be around 5.30 when they would stop. If it's quiet enough I might just edit out the audio for a small portion or just wait. I don't think we have to do that. The big slide which you can't really see. Yeah, that's down. The petting zoo and pony rides. Just have some ponies. They have very little of the petting zoo. Except for where they were penned. It definitely smells like a zoo. Not all of the vendors are quite ready yet. Yeah, some of them got quite a ways to go. In fact, it's a tad early. Yolanda's food truck. Candy and raffles and such. That's actually further along than it looks. Quite a few of the vendors over here are already gone. And that's the biggest pet project. Tearing this whole thing down. They got most of the sound equipment packed up already. And we got people free, freely riding around. The big breast cancer one. I'm surprised that one's completely gone already. Unless they started really early. Vendor's gone here. Sholin's Farms is almost done. They're all gone. And they barely even started. These guys are gone. And there's a project and a half. Alright, ready? And for the second time in the history of the festival, we got stuff inside. Inside on the common, that is. There's almost nothing really left. Apparently, this is one I missed. Seems to be a general vendor. And I was looking at the 
event footage, there was something there too that I completely missed. I thought those were facing that way. Psychic reading, they didn't see that it was time to go. And this is one that is a pet project because there's a lot of steps to cleaning this place out. The fry dough stand, you gotta cool down the fryers, then you gotta empty out the oil. Oh, the fun and joys. And we got music from someone's radio to go over. So while we yap, 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 copyright, copyright, we go over the thing like this and just turn it like that so we don't hear it as much. Yap, yap, yap. Copyright, copyright. And... I was recognized and here's the sound stage second stage audio there's the booth that they were in I'm on YouTube Apparently there's somebody who doesn't realize I'm YouTubing. And the thing is, it's somebody that knows I do the I do this stuff. YouTubing, just to let you know. What are you playing, Fit? Are you playing Pokemon? No. YouTubing. You, you, you know who I am, right? Yes I do. I just didn't want to get you on video. Because right, I'm doing a wrap-up video. Let me ask. Thank you. All right. I'm How you doing? All right. I just wanted to say hi. I, I, I was going to come to you later after I did this because I know you don't want to be on camera. Nah, I just want to say hello. All right. All right, that was a bit awkward. There's somebody that knows that I do this stuff that doesn't like being on YouTube, so I was trying to get all this done first, then say hi to this person, but apparently didn't quite get that. It's all right. They do not want to be on camera, and I was trying to tell them, stay away, I'll get to you. So I was doing all sorts of things to avoid getting his face on camera. For those of you who might be asking who, they don't want to be on YouTube. That's the hint. I'm not saying who it is. Here's a stand there. For those of you that are not in the Lemonster area, it doesn't matter. It's more for the people that live here. The apple crisp stand is pretty much just ready to be packed up and taken away. A few pieces of audio video equipment there. A pickup truck. So yeah, for those of you watching outside of the area, especially outside of Massachusetts and the country as a whole, it's just a friend I used to go to high school with. But he does not want to be on camera at all. So yeah, it was kind of hard to avoid. And that's pretty much gone. All right, we pretty much made it all the way around, but I'm not convinced or happy with the end result. So I'm gonna pause for a few minutes, then we'll come back and see how it's going. All right, went a little longer than I wanted. You know that guy I was telling you about I was trying to keep off of YouTube? Well, like I said, old high school friend, wanted to talk about good old times and what have not. And 
Well, it's a little further along than I would have liked it to go, but there's still plenty here to show. After nearly an hour and 15 minutes passed, we still got one Clements Direct Center. They're now hitching up the trailer to their barbecue. We got the picnic tables over here. And like I said, nearly an hour 15 minutes after the fact, the stage is still here in part. At least it's all in its components. The flower place. Show you how much of a bear that stage thing is. They're they're gone. Here are the stage sections. Steel with a plywood deck. Some more pieces there. And I believe those are the tables for the sound boards and what have not. And the porta pies, which I'm sure are not going to be moving anytime soon. All right, boring gap that we got rid of. Gap of nothingness. All of that's pretty much cleared up. Still a couple of hoses and a couple of bags. And the fencing for the stables, the temporary stables and the uh, petting zoo are there. Now we can say the demolition video for the most part is all done. Just putting away a few other things and off they go. And that's the 2016 Johnny Appleseed Festival and this is George F551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.